Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Guayota. Um, it wants me to use a controller. It's telling me that my best experience will be with the controller and headphones. As much as I don't love controller and headphones, I will obey. <coughs> Tail. <coughs> Ancient is the Canary Islands. Oh, that's awesome. The Idol of Tenerife, the Guanche people. This is a tale about discovering paradise on Earth and a turning point in human history that determined its fate. Oof. I feel like humans discovering paradise, yeah, it never <laughs> never works out too well. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this game and uh, share some of my thoughts and feedback as I play. And then try to summarize into some insights that hopefully can help you with your game design and whatever things that you're working on. Or even your own games. It is the year 1506. All right. The common era. The crown has asked for your help in a secret mission. I like the art. A little you creepy, but cool. Expedition searching St. Brendan's Island, which, according to legends, is paradise, paradise on Earth. I'm down for that. Role in such a wondrous adventure. You must record each discovery. That is made on that island. Tenerife. It is said that this island lies somewhere near the Canary Islands. So depart on a ship to the island of Tenerife to gather more information. Oh, that's how you pronounce that, is that After your arrival, I think I said Tenerife. The natives of the island, who tell stories about a mysterious island located to the west. I say that it is surrounded by a thick fog that prevents anyone from reaching I feel like uh, me being the conquistador does not make me the good guy. <laughs> Especially because the place I sailed from was Espana. Those who claim to have reached the island are either sailing aimlessly or the tides pulled the ship away and yep. slept. That's a curse. gathered this information. You depart westward on a caravel in search of the legendary island. That's just a great word, caravel. Am I right? After a few hours at sea, you gaze upon the thick fog, and you venture through it. You fold the sails and wait until dusk. I mean, the art is stunning. The only feedback I would have on the narrative is it's using a lot of summary. Like, you know, obviously there's a narrator speaking. And I think that's totally fine in this context. I think one of the one trade-offs you make is that, especially in fiction and prose, when you use... Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's some trade-off in using the second person. You know, why not just have it be a character in the world? And then doing so much in summary, especially when you're doing prose... Um, generally, you know, is less of a popular style. Like, your readers will be less prone to connect with it because in this day and age with film and games and everything, we're all in scene. Like, we, we kind of are used to a play-by-play, moment-by-moment delivery of action rather than summary unless it's getting us somewhere we want to go. Okay, so I got a nice little place. I'm going to go in here. No? All right, I'm just going to find my conquistador, homie. This guy seems a little sketch. Oh, scientist explorer? Nicholas. You're finally awake. You took your time, huh? Ah, oh, you look rather disoriented. My name is Nicholas. I'm a chronicler by vocation, in case you do not remember. You came here just when I arrived from the top of the mountain. Wait, I thought this person was on the boat with me, so I should remember them. Um... Better to keep you up to date with events. We arrived here a few hours ago and decided to take separate... To separate in order to explore the island, I was accompanying Rodrigo the Ar Arquebusier to the top of the mountain. We went through the path over there. Summit lies a stone temple. It doesn't resemble anything we've seen on the other islands. Looks like it was made by a far more advanced civilization. So I could not come back. So I could come back and check. I had a pretty rough time on the way back. Not only was the path steep, but the earth decided to start shaking. I was luckily lucky to keep my balance and avoid getting hit by fallen rocks. When I was, okay, this is a pretty long intro to say. I mean, essentially two things. One of my teammates is up on the mountain, stuck. This guy came down, and when he went in the mountain by himself, something funny happened, probably an earthquake. 
We're blocked because this creek. I'm from the only available path is one that leads to the top of the mountain. Well, I've been examining this huge stone slab until the moment you arrived. Would you mind checking how Rodrigo is faring? It's been a while since we went our separate ways, and he wants she should report in. I want to take this torch. You'll need it, as you can't see anything without a proper light. Furthermore, for some mysterious reason, the fires inside the temple are very hard to extinguish about being alone in the dark. Although I couldn't help but feel someone was watching me from the shadows. Don't worry, though. It's probably just my imagination. Anyway, I don't feel like going back there, to be honest. <laughs> How about you go in there? Anyways, take note of anything that seems interesting to you. I come back to check in in a while, but before that, I finish investigating the stone slab. The sun symbol on it looks similar to one in the temple. I wonder if they are related. So we have... Sun, triangle, diamond. I'm going to write this down. Sun, triangle, diamond. Cool. Ah. Goodbye. I kind of want to get to the action. And, and I, you know, so he has an exclamation point. Do I still need to talk with him? Any news? Okay. So why does he still have an exclamation point? Chronicler... Big studying. Okay, goodbye. Uh, it's weird that he still had an exclamation point, but I guess it wanted me to do all the dialogue options. Uh, okay. Wow. The camera is a little wonky. I know this is in Unreal. So, like, the way... F yeah, the way the camera is operating is a little crazy. I'm trying to run, I'm pressing buttons, nothing really is happening, but I'm going in the temple. Is this got nanite rendering? Oh, that's a spikes. You don't want to mess with spikes. Okay, magical crystal, cool. A lot of things. Sun. Sun. And then it goes diet trimend. Because triangle. I guess I'm going to go in here. Oh, okay. I really would love a sword of some kind. I'm guessing this is like some sort of save thing. Press A to hold and drop items. Okay, so there's light-based puzzles. Got it. Keep the light-based puzzles. Can I throw this? Oh, I gotta get both of them. Got it. Whoa, that was really loud. Some sound balancing. Some sound balancing would be good. Oh, this could be ma magic. The solar deity of Gua of of the Guanches. I must make note of this. Okay, so the solar temple has a bunch of light puzzles. I like that. That's very thematic. Oh, I took a note. Okay, so if I press this, something will happen. Magic, the solar deity. At the center of the mural is a humanoid figure with the halo on his head and the sun on his back. Below him, there are some people ad adoring him. The figure looks like a priest. Man, I need more people adoring me in my life. Guanches just call him people who get ancestors. Okay. So I'm making note of my discoveries here. I really love... I mean, the art's really great. The I like the solar puzzles so far. And it seems to be laid out in a pretty, you know, achievable, like, level-y fashion. I know I see it, I have, like, kind of... Areas where I can pass light through. Got it. So. That needs to go there. I'm going to go over here. Can I examine these pots? I mean, I kind of wish I could do more to interact with the world. Oh, I have another inscription. It seems that the glistening stones are related to magic. I mean, this is interesting because it's kind of giving me tutorial information. You've already done a great job in explaining through gameplay, right? So, like, to some degree, 
like, I actually think the gameplay tutorialization was flawless. Like, you know, I was picking up these things. I, you know, I noticed that my light did things. And then, you know, through cause and effect, it kind of guided me towards what I needed to learn. Two things. Okay, so I need two thingies. All right. Okay, so I had to get it from there. Yeah, then that opens that door. Oh, fooey. All right, I see you. I see you, light puzzles. I see you. I respect you. I like that there is like this kind of triggering different. Oh, snap! I didn't realize I could get killed <laughs> in one shot. You are completely in the dark. I, yeah, I'm dead. You are lost. You advance through the corridors of a room. Ooh, I'm tripping. No, I'm tripping out. But darkness. You hear whispers. I'm, I'm very intoxicated. It seems that you will never find the Ooh. exit. I'm about to lose my sin <laughs> of how much time you've been wandering in the dark that's not a that's not good you are about to lose your sanity uh that's not good you but don't want that a bright light appears in front of you blinding you for a moment Can seems your eyes get used to the light? <laughs> this you see a flame this lady describing my descent into madness is kind of like that meme of like no, I'm bummed. I'm bummed you're descending into madness. She seemed very happy. Closer, but instead of panicking, Yeesh. you feel a great sense of tranquility. Hey, flame. You let the flame reach you. you Hi, Bubba. It's the flame watching you. And you feel a soothing warmth. Oh, it's on my torch. Okay. It might be some kind of spirit. And it is willing to join you in your task. So that thing put out my... The flame lights your torch with a special fire that keeps the shadows at bay. When you take a closer look at the room you are in, hmm. you discover a mural. I'm building stuff. There's people imprisoning a shaman between the walls while he is still alive. Oof. So the little fire guy is a shaman? So it's saying my little friend, or is it talking about what happened to the my, my colleague? Oh, I got a purple flame now. Press B to dash forward. Do it against the crystal wall. Do it! See what that steam is. Okay. Hello. Interesting. Oh. Cannot dash that. Okay. So these. Interesting. Interesting. That was a little dangerous. I did not want to dash onto the bricks. So I have one solar stimulant. All right, so now there's no trap here, is there? Oh, it's gonna show me a mural. Oh. Stepping on Legos and 
So there are more traps that shoot water. Oh. Okay. Definitely want to avoid that, it sounds like. Oh, is that my homie? Oh, dude. What? Is that thing on top of you? Is that some kind of spirit? When you were left in the dark? But how is that even possible? I thought fire could not die inside those temples. Interesting. I wonder if that's the way of facing the fires. Hold on. Let's go back to the topic of the spirit of your head. And there's a mural in that room. It's it's a little weird that we're recapping. At least they look like months. One thing is for sure they just just leave from sorrow. Spirit is one of the people who are walled up. Canarians call these benevolent spirit Maxios, but they hold some connection with their deities. Perhaps it's one of them. How could something as vile happen in a holy place like paradise? Perhaps it was a wicked individual who deserves such a punishment. I have no idea. I would not let anyone else see your new companion. There is no need to unsettle anyone. I will go and clear the way to the rest of the temples. I should be done when you finish here until then. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I like the, like the, mm, these, there seems to be some trappy trappers here. Uh -huh. This is, uh, this is deeply concerning. Shaman being walled fire. Yeah, I mean, because you have this kind of information recap. I mean, because essentially we have multiple places where we're getting recaps, where I think we really only need one. What this? I don't know what that is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I need to find a thing. Put it over here, maybe? Let's make sure there's not like another one just like right around the corner. Oh, let's put it like right here. So it provides a little. Can I do it like over here? All right. It that looks like it'll be fine. Okay, that's up. So. Dude, I keep on pressing B instead of A to drop it. All right, so I need a big, I need the big four. So I got three out of four. This opens at two. It's interesting though, like why doesn't that count as one? I don't know which ones count for which stacks, right? Like for which objective stacks. So it doesn't count. So I need to go back and get this one. And so because I just have one of them activated, it should be fine, I'm guessing. I like the little sound design. Okay, so yeah, because I have any one activated, I should be fine. Then I have to bring it to this two unit one. Okay. Okay, so now big doors open. Yeah, I think the only question I have... Okay, so, so that answered my question about why some things counted and some things didn't. Okay. What are the monks doing here? They feel out of place. They're blotting out things. So they're hiding their history. Okay, we're going to the big door. Going to the big door, Spikes. Okay, interesting. Oh, there's another set. Oh, wow. Oh, man, this is very labyrinthine already. 
I mean, it's interesting. It's sort of like these like platforming light puzzles, which I, I can respect. Use right stick to move the camera. Oh, wow, that wasn't doing that earlier. Okay. Oh, they go pretty quick. Try not to die. Try not to die. Got him. Five rocks. Are you crazy? You're crazy. Okay. So this one needs two. So yeah, these are, I, I like the idea. It's like these kind of sequential discovery setups. I'm sure this one will necessitate four. Uh, so that's my four. Okay, so I need to somehow get a rock over there. So now that I have a rock here, I can get that rock out. Whoa! Oh, I have two. I lost some of my fire. How do I refill my fire, dude? Ah, oh, darn, it's not gonna let me. Okay, so I kinda gotta like do these other things first. Okay, so that restarts my fires. I uh, didn't start the fire. All right, this is a twofer. So this one I can dump here at this twofer. Oh, spooky, 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 spooky. Yeah, I mean, I like the vibe of it. I like the puzzle solving. Oh, I'm silly. I should have dashed. Um, yeah, I mean, I just feel like the only thing, is, which is surprise, which is funny because that's what I mainly focus on, it, that I would adjust is like some of the narrative design aspects. I think seem to have a few challenges in terms of um, a little bit too much recapping, a little bit too much kind of telling and not showing. And, you know, in a game, it doesn't matter that much because you have gameplay to compensate, right? But I think it's still something to always keep front of mind. Seems like Shaman did not want anyone coming close to the stone slab near the camp. Stay away. There's a... Okay, we're, we're unearthing the story. Wow. There's a lot of little arrows. Okay. Anyways. What'd this do? What's that bird doing? You looking at bird? All right. Oh, this is bad. Ah, that's really bad. Yep. Oh no! Ah, I'm dying. Ah! I died. Oh, I went back to insanity. I'm back in the insanity loop. Oh, thank you, bird. Bird saved my life. What a good bird. Noble bird. Oh, wait, what? So I'm kind of doing it in, like, spirit mode now, I guess. Ah, uh, I'm very confused. So this has one. It should open, because I opened up one. Oh, maybe it's not in far enough. Uh... 
that one works. Wait, what? I'm a confused. Uh, I'm very confused. Oh, I see. It switches the pinks and the blues. So now blues are shut and pinks are open, so this should open. Wait, right? Oh, uh, I mean, I guess I can. What? That should have worked. Right, I went through the pink sign. All right, I'm gonna put it in front of the pink one, I guess. All right, we'll try this. See, so now the blue's clear, and now the pink should be clear, right? Oh, I see, maybe like this? What? Wait, I'm confused. There's some sort of like something's happening. I'll be darned if I can tell what. Yeah, I'm a little stumped here. So now those are all clear. Blue. Oh. I won't get it. Yeah. See? Okay, yeah. Why wasn't that working like the 20 times I tried it ago? I was like, sure, that was the puzzle. It was giving me such a hard time. I don't know what that was. Maybe I glitched it out somehow, but there's some trigger system for these things that it does not like. One. Yeah, I don't know, man. This was super weird. Okay, something good happened. We're not going to mess with it anymore. We're not going to mess with it anymore. Yeah, I don't I hope that mechanic doesn't come back cuz that is not clear at all. I don't think we'd pick some magic falling inside a volcano. Ooh, that's not good. You don't want to do that, friends.
Volcano's bad. Bad for one's health. Alright, what are my thoughts so far? I, I mean, I like the puzzle layout of the game. I think that one was just a little bit unclear. So maybe it'd be worth revisiting. Yeah, I like the world. I think, you know, it's it's an interesting to kind of be uncovering this lost treasure. The art is stunning. Um, you know, it definitely has an absolutely wonderfully polished look. Uh, the only note I have is kind of around the narrative where some of it does kind of get very recappy. And we pull out into, su into summary much more often than scene. And even when we're in scene and in dialogue with another character... You know, it, it's very, very one-sided, and that character's also just talking a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're kind of, you know, as it, it's, it's, it's weird as it may sound, it's sort of like some of it is I want to get to the to the secrets. I want to start learning the things about this world that make it special. At least the narrative seems to be slowing me a little bit from it. And then the things that, it, that I need recapping on, like, you know, like the... Um, like this map that I'm kind of putting together, Gyoda's Legend. You know, shamans being walled. Like I, I like that I'm kind of putting together, you know, this kind of like list of, oh, I have to do it when I'm living and I'm dead. Interesting. Oh, wow. Ah, so I need a way to, ah, oh no, all right, so I like that it has this like living and dead uh, approach to the levels, that's pretty cool, I didn't expect that, and it's nice, it's starting me back in the living mode, but yeah, I think for those who really like these kind of platforming puzzle games this is something to really look out for i think it has a lot of charm i think it has a lot of cool thought into it this genre doesn't click with me quite as much so some of the things that would make me like lean into a game like this would be sort of oh hey what would make me get uh you know what would make me understand you know like those weird mechanics with the with the gooey spirit walls and you know I'm trying to find a third one of these things but I already found two didn't I oh no there's the third one oh I'm stupid oh well I just was bad oh dude I just ugh. hate that I have to dash over all those that's really frustrating ah uh, fridge ugh yeah, I know I know I know I know I know I need to, I did this totally did that wrong, but no, it make it makes sense. It make, okay, it's 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 nice. It's starting me back with the one that I actually want to do. That I still need to finish. Dude, that's a joke. That's a laugh. Dude, I tried to dash. Come on, man. Why can't I just walk over it fast? Anyways. But yeah, I. it's interesting. I think if you like these types of games, this will really click. The only feedback I would have is like, I wish, you know, if for someone who maybe this isn't my genre that I go to, you know, really like, oh man, I want to, you know, crack all the puzzles and do all the platforming. Because I just, like, platforming puzzles are a little bit more 
just odious to me in some respects. So there's, but there's nothing beyond that that's drawing me in. Like the narrative is interesting and that could draw me in, but it, the execution of it is a little clunky. And I think that's one of the reasons that, you know, I'm still kind of having trouble, you know, ticking all the boxes for this one. But overall, like I said, if this is a game in a genre that you would generally gravitate towards, this is an awesome example of that. And I would just encourage the developers to keep going and to thank them for sharing the game with me. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And uh, good night.